Commander. The last transmission? Oh, 0900 hours. Since then, nothing. Perhaps Einstein escaped? Too much to hope for, General. He would have contacted us by now. This is classified. I know. I sent for her. General von Essling, she is a civilian. That's why I don't get killed. Commander, this is Tanya Adams, a professional volunteer. She will work with you on this mission. Somewhere inside this research center, the Soviets hold Albert Einstein. We need him back immediately. Get Tanya inside so she can get Einstein out. Once you have located him, bring him back to your drop-off point for immediate evacuation. Be careful. The base is heavily fortified, but not invincible. Their weakness is power. Black out the base and nothing will stop you. Good luck. Soviet aggression has increased tenfold already. We don't have the manpower to fight Stalin's armies on every front. Commander! You did a fine job rescuing Einstein for us. Now, we are counting on you again. One of the passes we use for a supply route has been blocked by the Reds. A convoy from the 434th is due through in a matter of hours. The supplies they carry are critical to our war efforts. Nikos, what we have in that area to work with? Not much, and time is against us. You will have to make do. Clear the pass, so the convoy can get to safety. Their lives rest in your hands. Go! Commander, I wish I could say I had good news. But not all of our battles fare as well as yours. The Greek front is collapsing. And Germany is all but taken. However, not all is lost. Your efforts have hampered Soviet progress in this area. The bridges you destroyed have caused the Soviets to redirect their forces through a certain mountain pass that I believe you are familiar with. They are gambling that you will not be able to stop them a second time. Prove them wrong. Stavros, expect a heavy concentration of Soviet armor. The base you established is still standing. Get it up to speed as quickly as possible. We're counting on you to keep the Reds from breaking through. Government leaders have abandoned the capital and are now hiding in exile. Information out of occupied Athens has been sporadic, but Soviet forces are indeed in control of the capital as well as much of the outlying territories in Greece. In the city, fighting among Allied and Soviet troops continues, but the Allied death toll is rising rapidly. Now it remains to be seen if Allied forces will be able to weather this onslaught intact. Reacting to this latest assault, Allied diplomats led the United Nations in a 281 to 7 vote that, in approving a unique military funding initiative, aimed at increasing global Allied support. This proposal calls for the formation of a global defense agency to be temporarily established in an as yet unnamed European capital. Indeed, in control of the capital, as well as much of the outline. Sounds bad, does it not? Well, it is. But Stalin has just written his obituary. At last, this will help us galvanize the rest of the world against him. Yes, we have lost Greece. But we are not out just yet. Stalin may think so. But if we can continue to counsel the talents of commanders like yourself, we will come through this war on top. My old friend... One of Tanya's men. She found something. But Russian security agents have captured her. They will almost certainly take her back to Moscow. We must get her back. She has vital information on the Iron Curtain project. That information could help tip the scales in our favor. Let him clear his head. In this state, he is of no use to us. The Soviets currently hold Tanya near Grodno. The prison is well guarded, but a supply truck from a nearby Soviet base runs to the facility several times a day. 
if your spies can infiltrate the war factory, they may be able to hitch a ride into the prison compound. Once you have found Tanya, get her out of there any way you can. Excellent work, Commander. The information Tanya recovered has proved invaluable. Would you not agree, Stavros? Uh, yes. Uh, our analysis is almost com No, 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 sit, sit. <laughs> I'm late. I apologize. My watch is not working. <laughs> Professor Einstein. <laughs> This is an honor, huh? General Nico Stavros. Yes, yes. Professor, let me introduce the commander who rescued you. Huh? Commander, this is Professor Albert Einstein. Yes, yes. Very exciting. <laughs> These are reconnaissance photos taken near the Aegean Sea. Professor? Perhaps you can help us identify the specifics? From what I've had a chance to read, this is Stalin's main research laboratory. They are working on a new kind of defensive system. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, this is it. <laughs> the Iron Curtain is based on the theory of resonating molecules a certain Well, yes, frequency. Professor, but uh, what does the Iron Curtain do? Do? Well, by the theorem, it appears to make things invulnerable. Any vehicle or structure covered with this effect, by theory, will be impervious to harm. It's incredible. <laughs> I know Tesla was experimenting with this kind Thank of... Thank you, Professor. That is all we need to know. Hmm? Soviet research on this device cannot be allowed to continue. What else do we know about this research facility, Stavros? Nikos, put your personal losses aside for a moment, will you? Yes, uh, of course. Besides R&D functions, this base also serves as a waypoint for Soviet submarine actions, so it is heavily populated. As far as we can tell, the only prototype they have of this Iron Curtain is located here. We do not know if it is operational yet. Commander, your task is simple. Get into that base, infiltrate their laboratories, and destroy all information and prototypes of this... Uh, Iron Curtain. Incredible! We made it disappear and reappear, <laughs> but with very little control. We lost some men. But do you have the control problem solved? That is the heart of the Chronosphere project. This is where you come in. I wanted you to see this, so you understand the importance of your next mission. The chronosphere is being tested here, at a research center outside Leich. The Soviets recently learned of its location and have begun bombing it regularly. You must protect this research site. And the scientists working inside? Get to the base immediately and fortify it. We would evacuate the base, but months of preparation would be wasted. The buildings and their contents must remain operational until the experiment is complete. Commander, I believe we may well be at the turning point of this war. With Stalin's Iron Curtain offline and the success of the chronosphere, 
Victory is finally within our grasp. However, there is still much to be done. One of our spies has confirmed our worst fears. The Russians have developed a weapon greater than anything previously known, an atomic bomb. Stalin plans to unleash these bombs on several European cities. If he succeeds, all we have worked for as a race, as allies, will be for naught. This is Major Vladimir Kosygin, one of Stalin's key atomic strategists. Intelligence indicates that he has vital information on Stalin's plans for this new weapon. Kosygin is appalled by Stalin's methods and is ready to defect. Apparently, Stalin plans to use his own troops as sacrificial lambs to draw our forces into a trap. Once V takes the bait, he drops the bomb. You will find Kosygin here, in the Riha compound. Direct the spy past that compound's defenses and to the command center. Once you reach Kosygin, get your APCs in and Kosygin out. How many atomic bombs does Stalin possess? At least four two-kiloton warheads are in production. But there is much even I do not know. Much we are not told. Stalin's speech is coming on. That woman, Stalin's paramour, correct? I can think of better word to describe her. Yet, on Pomajny, he is mad. How can he do this? Explain, Kosygin. What are you talking about? Stalin! He announced he, he is telling everyone he's threatening to destroy the world. His missiles are ready. He is preparing to launch. Is this possible? A week ago, no. But now, who knows? This does not sound like a... a, a, a bluff. Even now, a great purge tears through the Kremlin. Your allied force becomes too powerful. In his fury, Stalin kills his own people. More death. More dishonor. The Russians are manufacturing missiles at this site? This factory is main site. We call it Chomneva Sodniki. The Dark Horseman. Commander, you must destroy it. Everything! Scorched Earth! Establish a base first, then move in on the command center. Get a spy inside and neutralized launch capabilities. Once the missiles are neutralized, destroy the facility. Everything scorched earth. That was too close. However, I prefer close to the alternative. If that bomb had gone off, well, let us just say, those of us left would all be learning how to speak Russian about now. Luckily, that is not the case. You and your team have foiled Stalin at every turn. And this was a coup de grace. The information obtained by your soldiers indicates those missiles was the only one Stalin had ready to launch. <laughs> With the atomic threat lifted, the time is right to launch our strike on the USSR. Your job is to clear the St. Petersburg area so that our ships can offer naval support to ground forces moving towards Moscow. Start by destroying the Soviet command center here. Once they are cut off from communications with Moscow, clear the naval passage so our ships can move up the river.
No. A cursed vessel. Welcome to the USSR, Commander. All Allied divisions are at the ready for our final push on Moscow. But we have received some bad news. The Soviets have the Iron Curtain back online and plan to use it to foil our assault. If that was not enough, our spies hints that a more powerful version of this weapon is in the works. I need you to infiltrate the Red Tech Centers so we can gather information on this new weapon. Dismissed. I assume everyone can handle the orders they have been given? Any questions? Good. Give them hell, boys. Dismissed! Commander, your efforts in this war have earned you a great honor. You, Stavros, and myself will personally lead the direct assault on Moscow. With all the other fronts covered, it is up to us to destroy Stalin's fortifications and remove the Soviet seat of power. You have also earned the right to be the first to test the newest addition to our arsenal, the chronosphere. With this to help you, even Stalin's new Iron Curtain will not be able to stop us. Einstein wanted me to warn you that the chronosphere could produce unknown side effects. Be careful when using it. Even we do not understand its full power. Yes. Use it cautiously. Get going and give Stalin hell. We will see you in Moscow. Over here, I found someone. Jeez Louise, it's Stalin. Figures that bastard would survive. Well, orders are orders. Come on, help me get him out of here. Private. What do you think you're doing? Sir, it's Stalin. He's still alive. Private, I don't see anyone there. Right here, sir. It's I don't Stal believe you heard me, Private. I don't see anyone here. Do you? No, sir. I don't see anyone. Must have been the wind I heard. That's what I thought. Now move out.
stop playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Ja, was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later. Time will tell.
Gradenko. How long did it take the guests to work? Is it safe to speak? Of course. Go on. The kill time depends upon the weight of the subject. Uh, the children were terminated in less than 15 seconds and the adults took longer, 18 to 42 seconds. No survivors? None, Comrade Stalin. The total dead? Approximately 840. My intelligence said there were 877 people in the village. How do you account for this discrepancy? Inaccurate intelligence? Enough. Begin full production of the gas. Already underway, Comrade Stalin. Meet our newest officer. According to this profile, you should prove useful. I would like to see that profile. Before. Give the lieutenant something important to do. That is all, Gradenko. Forgive me, Comrade Stalin, but there is something else. Outside Torun, we have met with guerrilla resistance. They have blocked the roads into town here and here. They are enemies of the people. Destroy the town and kill everyone in it. Come, my dear. I have an assignment which requires your special skills. Let's see how you handle this. Go at once to Torun. Destroy everything and everyone. No prisoners, no survivors. That is all. Congratulations on earning this assignment, Commander. I am Captain Georgi Kukov, Chief of Field Operations for this region. Beyond this river lies Germany. Tomorrow our attack begins. For today, you have guard duty. See to it that nothing happens to the base or to the command center. The Allies have been moving closer and closer to our position. Watch out for sneak attacks. If conflict erupts, you have permission to take the fight to them. See you in Berlin. The Imperialists are at our mercy. We have 14 tank divisions on this border. And the Allies with only three divisions hold you off. At the rate of our noble comrades' advance, we will occupy all of Europe within 60 days. Perhaps, but 11 months over schedule. It is vital to our propaganda efforts that we take Berlin before Comrade Stalin's birthday. Comrade Gradenko. Did you not report all our nerve gas sites secure? I inspected them myself. And how did the Allied dogs eliminate our Sovrinsk facility? Impossible! My security was... Inefficient, as we feared. That plant was our primary site. Will there be enough nerve gas left to proceed with our plan? What about Einstein? Is his propulsion system research still on schedule? Well? I, I uh, must report. A few hours ago, Einstein was kidnapped. I know. We are recovering him as we speak. Good. <laughs> Good! I do not wish to kill so committed an officer as you, Gradenko. I don't know where Einstein is, yet. But I do know who betrayed our cause. We have tracked him down in Lund, where he undoubtedly waits to rendezvous with resistance forces. He must die a traitor's death. Get to Kree again and use your dogs to sniff out the coward before he can take refuge in a safe house. 
Good work dealing with that spy. You please, Stalin. Make sure you never disappoint him. Now, I have a special task for you. We are amassing fire attack on Berlin. The Allies are aware of this, so we are going to, how do they say, throw them a bone? I want you to create a diversion. Occupy their troops until we can drop soldiers behind their lines. Once the troops are in, use the soldiers to cut off Allied communications with no early warning. We can take Berlin by surprise. You said this would not happen. No matter how many we kill, they keep coming. The United Nations begins to back their cause. Condemn them to hell, incinerate them before they grow stronger. You are failing me. The bombs are almost ready, Comrade Stalin. The final elements are being transported from Gorzov Air Base. How? By truck convoy. Here. You guard them with your life. They must get through to Gorzov. If you fail, do not return. So? When? Is the core safe? You must stand your ground. Stop them! The Allies attacked the commenced nuclear reactor. I'm on my way. No, it's too important. You go. They shut off the coolant systems. The core will soon go critical. You must get inside the reactor and get the coolant towers back online. <laughs> <laughs> no one must hear of this. Hmm? Do you recognize these names? They are your generals. But I don't see my name. Be thankful. I name these men as traitors. They're plotting to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> They think I will destroy Mother Russia. <laughs> mm. But you? You have always stood by me. When I regained the lands stolen by the Europeans and the Chinese, you were there. You fought nobly to make my dream come true. <laughs> So now, I'm going to give this honor to you. Death warrants? Sign them. Reaffirm your loyalty to me by ridding Russia of her enemies. Curious. Stalin said nothing about the truck Gradenko abandoned. Containing elements of Iron Curtain. Yes. We must get it back. I'm sure you'll find a suitable way to handle Comrade Gradenko. The truck and its contents were abandoned somewhere in this region. The Allies captured the truck and brought it to this way station. They intend to move it to safe territory and study its contents carefully. This cannot be allowed to happen. 
We cannot risk recapturing the truck. It is now a liability. Do not allow the truck or any allied unit to leave the area. Advancement in the Soviet army can be rapid. Continue to accumulate victories and the future is yours. One of our convoys is moving through enemy territory. You have been assigned to defend the convoy as they move through the area. Be sure that they reach their destination intact. As a reward for your esteemed service, you have been given a great honor. Our latest advancement in air warfare, the MiG attack aircraft, is at your disposal. Essentially a bomber, use it to destroy heavy concentrations of Allied armor. With this, and your standard complement of Yak aircraft, you should have no problem in keeping the convoy safe. General Kukov is late. We have matters to discuss before he arrives. Nadia, this tea is excellent. Thank you. I prepared it myself. <coughs> Incompetence will not be tolerated. We cannot allow you to endanger the Iron Curtain project any longer. I'm glad you agree. Dealing with traitors is my responsibility. Yes, and my pleasure. My spies report that the Allies are planning a major naval attack against us. You can cut them off at the refueling station. Land your MCV on a suitable island and destroy the Allies' base and refueling station. We must keep the area clear for our submarine operations. Go. Now, General Kukov, tell me about this Allied secret weapon that you found. The chronosphere? Play it again. I want it. The Allies are calling it chronosphere technology. My sources tell me it is done with extremely high energy signals. I want it. Comrade, how? I am surrounded by idiots. Do whatever it takes. Steal it. Take it from them. Nadia, tell your spies I want detailed plans. If Gradenko had not allowed Einstein to slip through our fears, that weapon would be ours now. Comrade, we do have a lead. An allied base outside SETI is sending out very strong energy signals. I believe this is where the chronosphere hides. There are three separate control centers we've identified there. Take control of all three. Do not allow them to destroy that which is rightfully ours. General. I cannot believe they would risk keeping Einstein in such a poorly defended area. Believe it or not, they did. And now we have him. The transmitter is undetectable and has a range of 500 miles. What makes you think the Allies will try to rescue him? Certainly they think he died in the attack on the base. That would have been true, had I not leaked information about Einstein's capture and scheduled execution. The Allies will come for their prize. And we will be able to track him through his watch? Yes, comrade. And he will lead us right to the chronosphere. Einstein is gone, comrade. 
Allied coordinates coming in now. With the chronosphere and the iron curtain, soon we will stand invincible. Prepare a strike team. Be careful. The Allied radar automatically sends a destruct code to the chronosphere if an intruder is detected. If you are detected before the radar is captured, we could lose the chronosphere. Losing the chronosphere is not an option. This was not to happen. The chromosphere was to be ours. Now all we have is a pile of debris. You, General, are to blame. He failed to deactivate the radar centers. I believe he is aware of the punishment. Take him out and shoot him. Get him out of my sight. Comrade Stalin, the General is not responsible for the destruction of the chromosphere. I personally monitored his actions. And who then would be to blame? Clearly, the General is at fault. Yet, comrade, it was you who failed in your actions. You did not inform the general of the other Allied transmitter that was nearby. Is this true, Kuko? Was there a fourth transmitter? We did not notice it on the first pass, but yes. <laughs> Disappoint me, Kukov. <laughs> if the Kronos here is not to be ours. Then let it be buried with the remains of the Allied dogs. Where are they? Nadia, where's the base of operations located? We have traced Einstein's signal. He has moved to the coast of England. It must be the center of the command. General, consider this your redemption. You are to lead the attack on the Allied headquarters. Level it. Destroy forever. All traces of the Alliance. Comrade, Commander... The Continue! Comrade. And you will find yourself on the floor with Kukov. Assemble a strike team. A continental Soviet Union is our destiny. <laughs> Amazing, these English, how quickly they adapt. <laughs> they must truly have been crying out for our victory. They have abandoned their old rulers faster than rats, leaving a sinking ship. <laughs> we have done what no one else has dared. The Soviet Union stretches across the entire continent. We have liberated Europe at last. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. Tea? Well, why not? <laughs> when in Rome? <laughs> Mm, excellent. General, you have covered yourself in great honor. I will see to it personally that you are very well taken care of. <laughs> Nadia, this tea is truly excellent. Thank you. I prepared it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Poison, you bitch. You bastard pig. 
You will never touch me with your filthy hands again! <sighs> well, General. This temporary chaos in Europe will only help to fuel the Brotherhood's cause. For centuries we have waited to emerge from the shadows and now we will make ourselves known. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and took up residence in the land of Nod. <laughs> you have done well to serve us and for that you should be rewarded. We estimate that the Brotherhood will tire of the USSR in the early 1990s. Until then, you will keep the peace. Fight our battles where you must, and you'll remain our loyal and obedient servant for the foreseeable future. The foreseeable future. Comrade Chairman, I am the future. Stop playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Ja. Was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later... Time will tell. <laughs> 